again this afternoon. It's a rematch from a game last week. You needing the break. Morgan pulls up for it's gone. An assist on that. So Lee was not able to finish, but got a favorable bounce. That's the S show. Fighting inside. Most of the rest of the game. Williams along the baseline. Pass for Carter. For three, and it's good. Maxi Esho with seven points. The help by Khalif Wyatt, and the pickup by Farrell, and he'll throw up. Four minutes and 18 seconds. Williams, what a move, and what to get that shot to up on the floor for the Minutemen. First shot of the half for Jesse Morgan, and he makes it count. Start the first half. See UMass 5 at 8, and trailing at the half. Jesse Morgan, though, has five quick points, so he'll advise. And here comes UMass in transition. Putney will pull up. UMass has its first lead early in the first half. All this with Williams scoring in the second half. Morgan and Putney, and now Vincent for three. Grand Dunphy wants a timeout. Four. Ooh, a chance. Jesse Morgan, it's an eight-point lead. This could be another steal. Can Chas Williams scoop it up? He can. He does. Oh, the momentum here has shifted incredibly fast. Chas Williams leading it. And dunk I was talking. Candy, this is the second time in the game where uh, UMass has helped Temple. Look at that, Chas. Playing a little two-man game going there. Four points for Carter. 15 seconds. Here's Williams. Oh, he does! Putney. Really ball around, and that was an athletic move by Jesse Morgan. We're careful about shot selection in the last five minutes. Jazz Williams for the lead for UMass, up by one. But still the same result. Williams up to four. To the pan, finds Morgan for three. Good! UMass retakes the lead. 19 points for Jesse Morgan. 15 fouls. Temple has 16 fouls. UMass three. Farrell for three. Good! Boy, oh boy, did he get himself set for that three pointer. Williams. Farrell into the paint. Seven on the shot. Oh, how about they just throw it up for Sean Carter and say, here, big boy, go eat, go do what you want, see if you can get it to go. He leaves it inside for Hollis Jefferson. Can't get the roll. Loose ball. Jesse Morgan in the open floor. And he's fouled by Juan Fernandez. And that could just about do it for the number one seed. No, 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 no. Anybody's capable. They do told us that before the game. Anybody that's in this game has a chance of winning it all. One second left, and that is it. For the second straight year, the number one seed has been eliminated from the Atlantic 10 tournament in the quarterfinals. The UMass Minutemen advance to the 2012 a 10 tournament semifinals where they'll await the winner of St. Bonaventure and St. Joseph's. Pretty impressive run by Derek Kellogg's squad. 77 71, the final score. UMass has defeated the Temple Owls. The number one seed is no longer here in the A 10 tournament.